Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So now as we have made so many projects creating REST APIs and testing those APIs using Postman, but there is another way we can expose and test our REST APIs by exposing it on Swagger, right? So what is Swagger and how you can expose API on Swagger? We we'll learn in this. Before we jump into the discussion part, let me request you that if you, if you gain some knowledge out of my video, so please support by liking, comment and sharing the video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's first understand what is Swagger. So let me take you to the browser and to the official website of Swagger. So Swagger allows you to describe the structure of your API so that the machine can read them. The ability to ability of APIs to describe their own structure is the root of all awesomeness in the Swagger. Why is it so great? Well, by reading your API structure, we can automatically build beautiful and interactive API documentation. So this is very important, right? So when we say that we are exposing the APIs to the external world, we are documenting our APIs, right? For, uh, we are giving a provision uh, inside our application only that the person can go to that page and see that, okay, what all REST APIs are being there and then can interact with the REST APIs using the input data. So we used to test the APIs using uh, Postman, but now what we can do is we can simply expose the APIs on Swagger and then we can go on the Swagger page and then we can test our APIs there itself. So now next is that uh, how we'll implement Swagger in our Spring Boot application, right? For that, let's go to the ID and let's start implementing an application. I'll just be implementing a Hello World API and we'll be exposing that Hello World API on Swagger page. So let's start by creating a project. So let's go on new and let me say project and I need Java 8. Right now I'm using Java 8. So uh, we'll switch to uh, different versions on different projects. And also I'll be making a video on how to migrate from Java 8 to Java 11 and then to Java 17. So let's name the project as Swagger and then we need Java 8 version and everything is okay. Let's go on the next page. So here we need a uh, 2.7.16 version of Spring. Then, so here we don't need anything, just Spring web dependency has been required. And one more dependency of Spring, that is Spring Fox dependency is required. That is not present in the uh, Spring starter. So that I'll be uh, getting it from the browser and will be pasting in the POM. So let's finish and let's import the project. So now as of my project has been imported, let's go to the pom.xml first. And here we can see that we only have the dependency of Spring Boot Starter Web and the test package dependency. Now we need the dependency of Spring Fox that I said uh, to enable the uh, swagger for our for this project. So let, let me go and bring in that dependency from the browser. You can simply go to the browser and you can type in Spring Fox dependency and you will get it on the browser itself. So this is the uh, Spring Fox dependency, right? So this dependency is being required to enable Swagger in your project. So let me save it and let uh, the project get built. So it has been built. Uh, now uh, there are few steps how you can enable the uh, Swagger on your uh, Spring Boot project. First, let's make uh, the packages. So we just, we are uh, making a small project of Hello World. So just we need a config package wherein we'll be defining the Swagger configurations. And then we need the controller package to define the control, the APIs that will be exposed on Swagger, right? So let me make a controller package, right? So first let's make a Swagger uh, class, Swagger, config class swagger config right so here what we have to do here we have to simply make two beans that is one returns the docket uh, is the api bean and the other one uh, returns the api info and it is being called uh, uh, from here itself, right? The API info is being called here. This is basically when your page of Swagger is being displayed to the user, the information that will be uh, the, the information that will be captured by Swagger that which all APIs need to be shown and what all need to be shown on the documentation page. So it gets this from here itself, right? So here you can see that I have defined a package for it, right? So the APIs that uh, needs to be picked and shown on the Swagger page are in this package, right? So 
the package is this controller package right so com spring implementation controller package com spring implementation controller package so you can replace it with your own packages so let me import all the things and let me make that right so now uh, we have written the complete uh, bean code right so what is the error okay it is missing so let me say it again yes so now we have written the uh, basically we have defined the swagger configuration and telling the swagger that these this is this is all required right these are the apis that you have to pick from this particular package and the information that needs to be shown on the page is that hello api exposed and this is a get hello api which will greet you with which will greet you like and the version of the api is 1.0 and we are building it right so this is kind of a string information that has been passed on to this method right that will show you show the information on the swagger page so this is uh, the uh, important step right so this this code is like a necessary code to uh, enable swagger on your spring boot api so now uh, as we are done with the swagger configuration let me go on the controller package and let me define a hello world controller and let me say hello world controller right now i'm making a hello world controller or a hello world api example but uh, in the next video i'll be uh, telling you that how you can expose the crud uh, API is also on the swagger front and how you can use that using swagger right so now uh, as this is a rest API rest controller so let me define it as a rest controller so let me define it as rest controller and I have to give request mapping that will be the parent mapping it is uh, not necessary you can give it or you so now uh, I have defined a, a request mapping uh, now I have to define a method right let me say public and it will return a string say hello right so let me simply say hello and let me return the value as hello world on swagger right so this is the string that will be returned and let me mark this as a get api so get mapping and it will be like hello right so this is my controller now what i can do uh, now what will be happening that when i'll be running the application we'll have to go on a particular url to uh, access the swagger page the documentation page of swagger so there this api will be exposed right so you can use this api by going on that page so if I go to the main class and run this code, this should work, right? So we need this minimum steps to uh, expose uh, our APIs on Swagger. So let me run the code. So this error that we are facing, uh, I found a GitHub and Stack Overflow thread to resolve it. As there are some config errors in the pattern matching class of Spring, uh, that's why we need to add a property in the property file and a bean uh, config in the Swagger config file. Let me add and run. So uh, it is a like I'll put the link of the uh, Stack Overflow and GitHub thread in the description of the video as well. So you can also check uh, that uh, why is this fix required, right? So basically, I've already told that there is some error in the uh, Spring file, uh, pattern matching file. That's why it is causing this error. So what changes are required is that uh, you have to go on the uh, application.properties and you have to add a property so, so this is the property that needs to be added and path matcher right and also in your swagger configuration first of all we have to add the uh, enable swagger configuration enable swagger 2 right enable swagger 2 uh, acts as a spring bean so we have to define the configuration as well right so these two are also required and then you have to define a bean right so as i said that the error so basically when you will be going to uh, that thread of uh, stack overflow and github you will get this code of bean so this is required to add uh, to resolve that uh, pattern matching error that we are facing here right in the console right 
so uh, to import all these classes we also need to add a dependency in the pom.xml that is the actuator dependency so let me add that too so this is the actuator dependency that has been required and then you can go on the swagger and you can import all the classes right so you have to get it from spring util right so now these this is the code part that is required now let's go on the main class again and let's run the application so now when you run the application right so i have run the application and you can see that it has successfully started so there is this particular url that you have to go through uh, the browser and the url is swagger ui index.html so when you'll go on this uh, page you'll see that this hello world controller is being exposed here and if you go down you will see api slash hello is being exposed and if you go to the controller let me take you to the controller first and let me tell that from where it is picking so you can see that api slash hello is being picking from there and the method name is say hello and if you see the information that has been shown that is coming from the configuration file right so it is like hello api exposed this is a get hello api which will greet you right so you can see all these things this is a get hello api which will greet you and the version exposed is 1.0 and hello api exposed this is this text is coming from the uh, swagger configuration and this is the api so how to use it you can simply click on it you can go and say try it out and you'll go down and you can execute it so when you execute it, you will get uh, to see that which API it is getting hit. So it is hitting slash API slash hello and the output is hello world on swagger. So hello world on swagger is coming from the controller part, right? Hello world on swagger. So this is how you can uh, expose your APIs and document your APIs on swagger and then test those APIs. So I'll put the link of the Stack Overflow and the GitHub uh, thread in the description and also the code repository link in the description Do check it out. Hope that you people like, share, comment on the video uh, and if new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.